Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I want to check something out today. By the way, look at those king crabs. Oh my god, they look great next to each other. So, uh, what are we doing? We go to the star map because we have to do some minor repairs. So back to Florida it is. And then I want to see if I can play another four part mission. Or maybe something else. But I want to rebuild something. I want to I wanna see how far I can go with the stalker. And for that, um, you know... I'm gonna put some more SRMs on this thing. I want to see how fast we can blast enemies apart. And, uh, yeah, we need some repairs to do beforehand. Um, the market says that there are two Battlemasters online and the Battlemaster S is there. Oh, hell yeah. I like what I see, I gotta say. I'll pick that up. Okay, so this is better than a Stalker because it's faster. <laughs> this is just it. Alrighty, guys. So, we got a Battlemaster here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, which mech do we drop for it? It could be the Warhammer, it could be it could be another Atlas that we don't need anymore. Uh, it could be the Battlemaster 1G. You know what, we'll drop this one here uh, in favor for the other Battlemaster. There's also, wow, bunch of rare weapon systems. But I'm gonna take this mech, this is beautiful, guys. Purchase that, we have enough money to play around with new stuff now. And I also want to check the barracks. Uh, 58, but he's only at 34. So, no, I'm not gonna pick him up. Uh, the market tells us that there is uh, a bunch of stuff there. Lots of... Oh, streaks. Okay, interesting. Um, LBX, no. LRM Artemis. We are already getting the good stuff here on the um, on the battlefield. Streak ammo, Artemis ammo. I like what I see. Maybe we can go for price. So, if we sort it for price. No, the other way around. This is the valuable stuff that you should take a look at, I guess. Uh, but there are no double heat sinks. It's just uh, ammunition here. No, you know what? I'm gonna build this here. Let's go. Where is my new battle master? There it is. First of all, very important. We're gonna make it beautiful. So our color is BCODOO. That's our basic red. And then we're gonna make it a bit darker here. So that it looks fine. And now. And now, my friends. We're gonna have some fun with this. Um, the hardpoint distribution is not the best, I gotta say, but it, it's gonna be fine. So we'll drop all of this here, all right, get rid of that, repair all max armor, and I would say we put like 18 in the back, and we are good to go. I don't want to overcomplicate things here. So why was I so excited here? The reason is that I got some, um, some missiles here, the SRM-4. Artemis and we got a bunch of them and I'm gonna use all of them and they have a great rate of fire and they also have Artemis which means they have a little spread and then we're gonna put some let's say medium lasers on the sides here we have medium pulses ah, I go for mediums for regular mediums so um, the rest is of course ammunition one and the two and the three and the four this thing here it runs 64 kph again this is just why I'm playing it not so much about the like the, the weapon systems. The stalker would be better because we could go for SRM sixes. And you know what? We'll do it here on this hard point. There is an SRM six available, so we're gonna take that. All right. So six tons of ammo should technically be enough. And the rest of the mech is heat management. We got four doubles. Uh, all right. We're gonna put three in the engine. I wonder if that's gonna be enough. Ooh, it might not be. Honestly. It might not be. So, in order to make the mech better, we need to, first of all, strip a bit of leg armor. Let's go down to 67. That should do it. All right. And then, do we keep the SRM-6 or do we streamline it to fours? I'd say we're going to go with the four C. All right, let's do it. That gives us another ton to work with and that gives us another double heatsink. God, I really hope this is working. Heat management is not the best. But I want to check it out anyway, guys. Let's go. This is our new battle master. We're gonna try this today. Let's see how it goes. Weapon convergence could be a bit of an issue because the weapons are all spread all over the mech. And um, hitting stuff with that might not be easy. But hey, there's always something to uh, to worry about, right? The, the, the perfect mech does not exist, I would say. Although I would say the Annihilator comes close. But it's too slow. So yeah, no, it has a drawback. It has a drawback, definitely. Okie dokie, are you ready, guys? I think, you know what? We're gonna build the Stalker as well. We're gonna build the Stalker as well, so... What we are doing now is, I dropped the Quick Draw. 
Yeah, IV4 was fun for a while, but I want to bring back a Stalker and see what we can do with this beauty. So let's go. Edit loadout. Um, X armor. Alright. Drop it back to like 21. This, uh, drop it back to 20 here. There as well. Alright, and now we are at 44.3. So 67 is what gives us the, the perfect round number. And I want to go in and uh, want to do the same thing here. So we'll go Artemis, 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 Artemis. And then we're going to drop some doubles in here because we need it. We need Artemis ammo. I think six tons minimum. Oh my god. I don't like putting ammo in the side torsos, I gotta say. But hey, if that's the case, then that's the case. The rest is just gonna be a lot of heat sinks. And... I have the feeling that we can actually afford some small lasers? Maybe? Just as a bit of a additional damage source that we can throw in whenever we need it. So smalls here, smalls there, smalls everywhere. Huh. This looks fun, honestly. This looks like a lot of fun. I need two more small lasers. Let's do it. So, let's go to the market. Let's see if we can pick up some smalls here. Uh, there are actually two of them. They are not great. They are just tier zero, but it is a small laser that I want to put in there. Alright. So, one ton has to go. And I think it's gonna be a, a heatsink. Oh my god. This could be really cool. If it works. So let's see. Good. So uh, we go back to the star map, obviously. Oh, wait, no. We want to go quickly, 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 quickly over here. Um, because I want to check out those rare weapon systems. Maybe there's something that we need to pick up, that we want to pick up, and then build something around with it. Also, there's one stalker that I also want to check out. The one with the big missile art points, I think, in the sides or on the arms. And then there's also one more thing that I want to quickly do, which is, let's go to the option, let's go to sound, let's enable the music again. I disabled it because I was doing some work behind the scenes and um, I didn't want to hear the music all the time. Anyway, it's another Battle Master, it's another King Crab, Highlander, Stalker 3H. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking about. That thing has big missile hard points. I'll pick it up. Drop trip is currently full. I cannot pick it up, really. You cannot put it directly to cold storage. You can do it, though, when I'm gaining max from the battlefield. Really? No way. Really? That's how we roll here? I'm mad. That's not how it's supposed to be. Uh, how it should be, in my books here. But anyway, AC5, tier 3, no thank you. Ooh, LB10. LB10 solid. Gotcha! As well as Ultra 5s, Medium Lasers, we have so many tier 4s, no thank you. Stream here, no, no, Streak Ammo, Artemis Ammo. Maybe I should get a bit more Artemis Ammo. Right, Ultra 5, my god, this is full, full of everything. But there's nothing that we need here anymore. Okay, so, um... Why did I want to put this Stalker in, into the battle here? Because it has some options. Oh no, wait, uh, it's just pretty, if we didn't buy it, I just realized. Uh, do I put the Highlander back to storage? I don't want to, it's a lot of time to rebuild, but at the same time, I want to build some new builds. Alright, let's drop the Widow. And, and buy the stupid Stalker, come on, let's do it here. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna build something with it later. Um, I don't want to put too much time and effort into building stuff now because I want to play. So, let's go ahead and play something. That's a Warzone. That's perfect for what I have in mind. Let's test the Battle Master. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what we need is uh, we need to get some more money. And at this point of the game, of the playthrough, I would say we can easily just... Gonna catch them all, basically. So, we're gonna try to uh, find maybe every single mech that is in the game and add it to our lands. So yeah, we wait for the battle master to be ready, and then we try dive into this war zone. Ooh, we don't get much salvage out of this here. Maybe we should go for a bit of repair cost. Maybe we should go for a lot of repair cost. So it's not gonna be the night star. It's gonna be the battle master. Hell yeah! Or do we play the stalker first? I mean, we technically could. Yeah, I wanna play the stalker first. 
And our support makes are gonna be four atlases. Actually, it's three atlases, but I wanna think that it's four. So, let's pretend. <laughs> so, Stalker 3F. Um, it's gonna be our missile boat, SRM-6 Artemis, and small lasers. The smalls obviously just for point defense. The SRMs are gonna be our main weapon when we are engaging the enemies. And the only big fear that I have is that the enemies will spawn too far away from us. So, we need to get close. The Stalker is not really good at that because it's slow. Um, but anyway, it packs a punch and the Alpha Strike is quite ridiculous with four SRM-6 Artemis. <laughs> let's see, guys. Let's see. Now, nah, the game has to load in the new builds here, obviously. All right. This is taking a while. My machine is actually pretty good. For all of you who won that, by the way, I'm running a 1080 Ti. I'm running an i7-9700, as well as 32 gigabytes of RAM, as well as... Uh, I don't know what else you need. That's basically it, right? I'm running it on an SSD. Um, yeah. That's, that's it. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, by the way. I got lots of questions about which control and input devices I, I used. It's this one here. I used uh, Logitech G903, that's my mouse, and... Uh, yeah, 903. Uh, and the Logitech G11 keyboard, which is ancient. That thing is basically 15, maybe 16 years old. Commander, enemy forces will inevitably overrun this area. Overrun? We have been tasked with nah, no overrunning allowed here. We have substantial opportunities the longer you can hold them off but be sure not to overextend yourself okay okay wow there's so many so many options here so let me see button one is that button four okay i think i got it all right i'm ready my body is ready my mind is ready my stalk is ready let's go I mean, we don't have to defend this thing, right? We have to kill enemies. Lots of them. Look at the different cooldown on all the small lasers here. In the lower right. Alright, here we go. I have cover! What? Oh, there they are. Ugh, I'm stuck! Oh, that's a good start. Hey, let's go. Let's go ahead and shoot the Phoenix Hawk. Did we kill him? Uh, hit him? Oh, wow, this is great. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Kabow! I love it. I love it already. I cannot shoot anymore, though. Hey, have that. Oh, we didn't kill. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's a Phoenix Hawk right next to me. Not anymore. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a seizure. <laughs> what? Cool. This is why we have the arm mounts for. Or what we have the arm mounts for, rather. Come over here, Cicada. Get wrecked. And the heat management is beautiful. Ooh, I think we could even go for mediums, maybe. So, where's the drop coming down? Oh, yeah. Can we have you, Max? Bigger. Come on. You can go bigger. You can do better than that. Cicadas and Phoenix Hawks? I love at your puny max. Come over here. Oh my god. Oh, and the rate of fire is amazing. I mean, that. That is power. That's great! I'm having a blast, guys. Literally. That's how we kill here. Wait, where's the freaking... Thank you. Is he dead? Oh, he is falling down on me. <gasps> Holy macaroni. I like the build. I, I think the Stalker is better than the Battle Master will ever be because the Alpha Strike is so ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna check out the SRM4 as well, right? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You're gonna stay there. You're gonna not do anything. Okay, get wrecked. Thank you. This is so strong, guys. Whenever you're in need of a brawler, build a stalker like this. You can also go in and use regular SRMs, of course. Yeah, that shutdown was not so good. I thought I could bear it, but I couldn't. So, yeah, let's keep going. Let's just kill some tanks and flyers. 
Uh huh. Oh no. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Hey, I hit him. I hit him again. Oh, and he's gonna die. Good job, guys. We're almost down. We're almost done in the mission here. And I still have so much ammo. I could even go for more heat sinks, I believe. Wait, where did the enemies come down? Oh, they're on the sidelines. All right, let's kill them. What do they bring? A quick draw? A tank? A Highlander. Okay, guys, give me an open. Opening. Uh, give angle. I need fire. Thank you. Fire. Fire again. And fire. And keep firing because that's what we do here. We fire a lot. Oh, the heat is critical though. All right. Another thing that we do is we pull back. And then we fire again. And God, this is so beautiful. I can't stop firing. You know what? I'm going to go override. I'll go over freaking right now. You're dead. Fine. Oh, I shouldn't override. Uh, do we need bonus pay, guys? I want to. I want to go for one more lance, guys, just because. Oh, McKenna got hit. Ooh, heavily. All right. So that's what we do. We're gonna kill those guys. Okay. Hey, stop moving around. I mean, we can shoot them from here, although we are not in optimal range. But it's still possible. This poor rifleman. Is he not dead yet? Obviously not, no. Guys, come on. Kill them all! Wait, what? What? Get wrecked! Okay, finally. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. So yeah, this is how we do it. We're gonna kill those guys real quick. Obviously. And now we move. Yeah, Freeman also got hit a lot. Let's get out of here, guys. Uh, on me. A police follow me. We're not doing anything anymore here. We just get out of here and run. Ah, although there is a Thunderbolt. It might need killing. Ah, you know what? That's the last, the last wave before we go. Even if we have to repair, it's gonna be worth it. Because we are fast with the killing. Uh huh. Oh no, no Atlas. Okay, going for another target then. Okay, got that guy. Again, I thought it was enough. Yeah, I'm the best with overheating. Not with heat management, I'm the best with overheating. Okay, let's get the draw. And now we go. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Amazing stalker! Like, this thing here, it just blows everything apart. Holy crap, I wonder how much damage we dealt. Easy 2000, I would say. In this short of a mission, I think it was easy 2,000 damage. <laughs> we only get a quick draw. That's the only thing that is available here. Hey, but let's see. Uh, let's go with value first. Um, we can pick it up. We will pick it up. Why not? I mean, there's nothing else we want or need. Sure. And then on top of that, it's going to be a medium laser tier 4. 2,166 damage. That's what I'm talking about. It's double as much... Twice as much as Captain McKenna, which was the next in line with the damage dealt. Nothing got critical here. I like it. Alright, so that was the first mission. Let's go ahead and go somewhere. That's a demolition contract. Multi-mission operation. Ah, that's the thing that we cannot... Go Let's go for the next war zone. You know what? We're gonna go up there and then we pick up the uh, Battlemaster. Just directly compare it to what we just witnessed here. It might be... Might be a bit better in terms of heat management because SRM4s obviously don't consume as much heat or build up as much heat as SRM6s. Um, at the same time, we have medium lasers compared to the uh, small lasers there. But also, I think more heat management. So, let's check it out. Gonna get all of this. Gonna get the Master of Battles. And then, I like an Annihilator as well as an Awesome here. And, let's say... 
Why not a Highlander? Highlander sounds good. We are a bit under tonnage compared to uh, the, you know, battle before. But this is all for science, guys. We have to paint those, by the way. My awesome as well as my Highlander are still in the rookie green. That needs to change. They need to be like the, 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 the full inclusion to our lands. We're gonna paint them in a, in a ritual of acceptance and friendship. And then, you know, they are part of the crew. But with that, first of all, we need to gather more red paint, if you know what I mean. Which which is going to the mall and picking up paint. The space mall. If you all thought that would be the blood of our enemies, you are filthy people, guys. Seriously. Where would you get red paint from? Seriously. But anyway, um, love the Annihilator here. That's good, uh, because also our pilot can still train ballistics. And, oh wow, now that we have the LBXs, the solid LBXs, we can rebuild the mech a bit. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I can foresee another LBX uh, Annihilator build in the near future. Maybe that's the next thing that we're gonna be doing here. Alright, I'm ready. My body is ready, my mind is ready. And this time the Battlemaster. We have friendlies under assault from hostile forces. All right. Link up with them and hold off the enemy advance as long as possible. Be so sure we'll set up our weapon groups under. like Eventually, that. You will need to fall back to the evac point. Okay, that's chain fire. That's also chain fire. As if I ever use it. Uh, why are we running away? Oh yeah, because there was something in the outskirts coming closer to us. But you know what? I'll just move in here. Oh, we have somebody with tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kill those guys. I quickly want to trigger the event here. Good. Now we can go. Are you still tagging, buddy? Let's go. That's good. Painting hostile with tag. Okay, so in terms of um, heat management, this is worse. Like, way worse. So, hmm. Do we go back to the stalker after this? Yes, most likely. Do we have to finish the mission beforehand? Absolutely. This thing needs definitely way more heat management and less ammunition. Like, we are going crazy on the ammo count here. This is way more than we would ever need. So, dropping two tons of ammo easily, as well as uh, adding two more double heat sinks, and then the build is a bit better. But just a bit. Alright, that didn't work. That did. Not great. I gotta aim a little higher. Yeah. Guys, I need your help here. Now we go in. So if I only shoot my, my missiles... What about that? I need to also hit my stuff. Alright, that works. Again, too much. Ow. So, wh what the hell? AC-20 bursts, you say? I say, no thank you. I guess I just shoot two of them? Alright, down he goes. And more forces. 5 out of 23, guys. This is still going. So yeah, in terms of build here... Oh, wow. What? What? Who? Why? Alright. Oh, it might have been the tank down. No, it was something else, but they destroyed it. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Got him. Got him. And that's it. Oh, now we go in again. I like the mobility of the mag. It is way faster than the Stalker beforehand, but at the same time, it likes to punch to actually overwhelm the enemy quickly. And of course, again, the sustain that I just talked about. Yeah, let's go. I like his attitude towards fighting because he is super excited about getting every enemy off the board. Right. Let's take the shotgun. Oops. 
Ow! What the hell? I think that was just a PPC coming into my back here. Alright, the enemies are engaged already with our friendlies. And that means we can go in safely and kill them. Here comes the cavalry. And I'm in his back. And I'm in his everywhere. Let's kill him. I mean, that works! But after this engagement, we are at a lot of heat. May I see that? Mm -hmm. At this point, I cannot fire anymore, but hey! Going for legs was actually quite viable. Stay frosty. I tried to stay as frosty as possible. Yet again, problem is the heat. Ah, almost. Almost. Got him. So... Those flyers are a problem. Good job, guys. I mean, sometimes you just can't rely on your friendlies. That's great. Target destroyed. Perfect. So, you go for all the riflemen first. And I try to get in there as well. Okay. Yeah, they're going for me already. I should maybe not do what I'm doing here, which is assaulting them like this. I'm hoping for some support from my team. But at the same time, I'm a bit up front, I gotta say. Yeah. You're gonna die. I can go for one more burst and then I need to take cover and cool down. Hell yeah, it works though. It works. Good job, guys. That was a kill, I guess. Uh, no, he's not dead. I'm in his back, though. Oh, beautiful. The ambush, it actually worked. Still, we have to stay in this fi uh, fight for a little longer. When I say a little longer, I mean a lot longer. So, it's a good idea to send in my people first this time and then coming in later. Not like this. We got him, though. Uh, helicopter. No. Yes. Good. We still have 1,200, 1,100 missiles still. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount. They bring three battle masters. That's cool, actually. That's hella cool. They just drop a lance of battle masters. It's only three, though, but, you know, a lance is four max. But still, three battle masters. It feels cool. It's really cool. Also, we can use this as artillery weapons if you just aim a little higher. Uh, still higher. No. They're slowly pushing forward. Oh, we hit him. That's working now. The missiles spread like crazy in the end. And I'm hiding behind my Annihilator now. Okay, let's go. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, can we, can we headshot him? Yeah, we got him. Problem. Oh wait, they have an archer as well. I thought it was three battle masters, but maybe it was three battle masters and the archer. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready. You know what? Let's just get out of here, guys. My battle master is pretty beat up, and I didn't even get to use my medium laser, so the build needs to be changed big time. Uh, all right, I bring a Zeus there. I haven't really tried Zeus yet. Maybe that's also a thing that we should dip our toes into. Zeus are difficult though, because they you cannot really put many weapon systems on a Zeus. They have the problem of, I think, not really running Endo and Pharaoh. Pack it up, Commander, before more enemies arrive. Uh, how far can we shoot this? Not further than this little forest there, so it has some limits. And you have to shoot ballistically. Like, really, really angled up. Anyway, that was the Battlemaster. Let's 
quickly check how we can make it better because for all of you who got this Battlemaster 1S, I want to give you an idea of a build that makes sense. Alright, so we'll pick up the Rifleman and AC5 burst. Do we take the Rifleman? It's a lot of money for us. We could. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. And I also take three more salvage points, which will be the LRM 10 there. Let's continue and see what we can do with our Master of Battles. Alright guys, back to the star map because we need to find an industrial hub that is nearby. Uh, York? I'll, I want to check out York here uh, because mainly I want to see if there's something available that wasn't uh, available down there in Florida. So changing up the, uh, the position that I'm going to just in case there's something that I want, something that I need. And I want to go there to repair and rebuild a bit. Alright, let's check out the market. At this RS, that's the 1G again. We have that thing already. Black Knight 7, it's a good one. Um, but yeah. Highlander. Alright, there's nothing that we need. Uh, unless there is a double heat sinks available. Let me check that out. No, I don't see them. So, maybe I'm blind, but I don't see them. So, let's not <laughs> fiddle around with that too much. Ah, uh, Kisada. Hmm. Kisada is pretty good. It's a 50 out of 59. It's almost maxed out. And a uh, 59 pilot. I'm gonna hire her. Him. Hire him, her. And now we're gonna take a look at our mech to see what we can... Wait, 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 wait. What we can do with it. We have one more double that we definitely need. So... Heat management is 2. We were playing with a heat management of 2. I think 8 when we were playing uh, with a stalker. I think this is okay. 2.1. Those mediums could be replaced with smalls again, but we could also just put tier 4 in there because they are better with heat management. So that's good. I think this is how I want to run it. Since we don't have any more small lasers anyway, so it's just that. This should be, or it should make us, uh, or make it possible to shoot more up now. Let's see if it's working. I mean, another thing that we could consider is just running regular SRMs, SRM4s here, and not going Artemis. That saves us four more tons that we could invest into heat management then. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay, so we drop Artemis, we go for four regular SRM4s, then which are... Burr, 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 burr. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna take regular SRM ammo. I think four tons might actually be enough, since we have the medium lasers to help us out anyway. Alright. So, quick repair on the other Max, the awesome, the Highlander. Oh, and another thing that we could consider is the build of the Stalker now that we are here. Let me quickly do that. I have an idea of that. Uh, for for that. So we repair this. Drop that. Because I want to see how strong of a missile boat we can make. Alright? And I mean LRMs. Actually, those can stay here. Okay, so this is going to be the start of the build. We max the armor. Back to 20 in the back. Back to 20 here. Good job. Wow, it's 29 by default. In the center torso. Alright, so back to 76. Uh, sorry, 67. That's 47 now. And I want to just put the biggest missile launcher on the thing that I have, which is 220s, tier 5, as well as 210s, tier 4 only. But okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. And I want to tag. Come out. And the rest is gonna be. The rest is gonna be maybe medium lasers, just for some point defense, as well as a crap ton of LRM ammo, because I need at the very least six, maybe even eight tons. And this is not gonna work anymore. So no support systems? Like this, maybe? <laughs> Alright, maybe this is not working, but maybe it's the most beautiful thing that we can build. We have to check it out, guys. We have to. 
Uh, and I have the feeling that we need another single heat sink. I mean, doubles would obviously the way to go about this year. Oh, this is way too hot. Like, way too hot. And I think we are a bit low on ammo, but I want to check it. And I also dropped the tag for another single heat sink. Let's go. Into the head. There we go. We have a nice symmetrical build now. No support weapons, though. So if we are underrun by anything, we have a problem, you know? All right. The massive missile stalker. This is not gonna work. All right. A uh, quick detour here. Because there's a rare weapon system. Maybe I should check out all of them. No, it takes a little bit, and I want to get into another mission here, so wait a second. Just wait for it. <laughs> um, there's an AMS for sale, but we don't have AMS Max on yet. We didn't find anyone. Nope, none of them. None of them here. This is a good weapon system, but I don't take it. We can get Ultra 5s. Single heat sink, streak, ultra ammo. No doubles there. Barracks. You in the ready room. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go back now. Let's see what we can do. Virense. And I mean all this back and forth. You know what that means, right? It means that we always pay like a million C bills or two. Which makes it so that we could potentially just repair our mechs, our basic repairs. We could just make them happen in the, in the conflict zone. Because at some point, with so many mechs in the storage, it's not not a good idea anymore. We have 5 million left. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's Raid Wars on Multi-Mission. Sure, let's go there. Uh, let's get some money. Oh, come on. Come back, it is. I want to play another Warzone, I want to check out the Battlemaster, I want to see if it's better now and if it's viable now. Or uh, if we should just trash it and just play the Stalker from this point on. Because that thing, it was glorious. Absolutely. I mean, we can dig out the Battlemaster as it is for missions like raids, where we have to maneuver around a lot. And the Stalker is going to be one of our point defense mechs that just stays in the, in the base that we just use for... Um, uh, no raids and so on. We are under tonnage. I missed something there. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. I wanted to add some single heat sinks. Yeah. So I replaced. Mm, I replaced the SRMs with Artemis with regular SRMs, but I didn't put the heat sinks in there anymore. All right. That should be good now. So this kind of. This is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna add an. Atlas to the deal, as well as a... Yeah, you can stay there. It's fine. Okay, ready up? Yep, waited. And now we're diving in again. This time with four regular SRM4s. We got four medium lasers. This seems like a... Honestly, like a build a Kentaro could, could run. I wonder how the heat management of a Kentaro would be, though, in a build like this. And, of course, the Kentaro has less armor. I think it's running 81 kph though, instead of 64. So we are just a beefed up Kintaro in the Battlemaster 1S that we have here. Let's see. I like doing these little science videos. Actually, it's it's a lot of fun to just it use your like resources to do some some forces. build science, technically. Shoot them! Okay, so the base is pretty big. And this time we have 1200 missiles at our disposal, so... Uh, we need to be careful with them. That was not a bad shot. We didn't lag him, though. Oh, I wanted to anticipate his movement there, but I couldn't. Yeah, the heat management is way better than before. Take that, spider. Take that. And you as well, thank you. What? What? Thank him. Kill him. That's how we roll here. Wow, this is not over. Okay. There's still a flyer. No, wait. Oh, it fell down. It fell down. It fell down. And here comes the dropship. People. Let's go. 
instant, instant shot on the Cicada because he's nasty. He doesn't deserve to live. Is he dead? He's headshot at the very least. This is beautiful! Now I'm too hot though. Ah, oh, come on! Finally! I don't know what to say anymore, guys, but holy crap, are we killing? Uh huh. Come on, guys, there are enemies to kill. Oh, and they are so lightly armored on the legs. Alright, let's go for it then. I'm headshot, by the way. Oh, oh, I wasn't twisted in completely. Okay, guys, get him. Ah, that was scary. All right, we lag them. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, this mech is going critical. I don't like to hear that. Oh, come on, really, guys? Okay, that's fine. Oh my God! It doesn't stop here. The dead. Um, the, the both dragons are scary. I'm having a blast here. This is so cool. I need to go though. Uh, let me try to twist my torso a bit. This is so escalating. I'm a fan. I love it. I love brawling. Can't deny it. Uh oh, that was a friend. Ah. Come on. Are you? Stupid tank. Hit! Uh. Still not dead. Alright, I'm gonna clear the area then. We are killing so fast! Oh, this stalker could be a problem though. Let's go for his legs. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do some drive-by shooting. I'll be back soon. Oh, we actually hit the helicopter. That's fun. Okay, so we go for the stalker. Hey, buddy. I'm behind you. Oh my god, I'm behind him. He's not aware. Uh, I should still go for the legs there completely. Ah, oh, come on, one shot. Got him. Ah! Sneak attack! That gives a damage bonus. Nah, not really. That's a problem though. They are going for my arms. Lots of weapon systems are in there. What about you, buddy? You're dead. Good. Zoom. Still 400 missiles left. We're gonna get out of here now. Because that's enough for me. <laughs> I was too eager to make the breach happen. Run! Wake up! Let's get out of here. I don't want to lose my arms. Uh, so, guys, uh, my final verdict, go for this build. This year. It is good, this is fun. Just blast things apart. Seriously, four SRM6s? Uh, sorry, four SRM4s are already so much! It's beautiful. It is just glorious. I'm a fan of SRMs, I gotta say. Ballistics and SRMs, those two are kind of my jam. I like explosions, I like being in the thick of the fight and just blasting things apart with full force. We destroy a lot with that though. I mean, look at that, we only get a Locust out of this. Uh, I mean, an LRM-10, medium laser, just going for the tier 4 weapons. That's it. And we have five more points that will be invested into a PPC, why not? Alright. Leveling up the pilots, looking good. Uh, we could replace McKenna with the new pilot that we just picked up. He was 57 out of 59 if I remember correctly. So, maybe that's a thing. Okay, and we get some money out of this. Holy crap. Guys, 
that has been an experience for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Next time we're gonna check out some other missiles, I would say. And um, if you want that, then subscribe to the channel. You get a notification. You can also support me on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.